A school district in Mississippi decided to ban the book To Kill a Mockingbird in a Classroom. I'm just so sick and tired, just so sick and tired of students being special snowflakes in regards to offensive material. It doesn't really matter to them if the material was actually offensive or not. To them at least, if they're hurt by words, they want to get it banned as soon as possible. For those who don't know about the story, essentially The Kill a Mockingbird is about a lawyer who was hired to defend a black guy who was falsely accused of rape even though he was not like the rapist. And even though there was like evidence that was against the idea that he was a rapist, they decided to put him in jail because of reasons. The whole entire book, the movie, etc., in my personal opinion, was a fantastic read and a fantastic watch. If you guys haven't checked out the book or the movie yet, I highly recommend you guys to do so. But getting back to the news story, the main reason why they wanted to ban the book was because of the language that was used in the book. And I'm pretty sure that the language that was used that they are offended by was the word nigger. And the reason why I say that is because in the book, according to the story, the lawyer was actually called a nigger lover because he defended the black guy. To the students that are watching this video, please cut the bullshit out right here. Like seriously, every single day, you guys call each other nigger all the time. You guys listen to rap music. So please spare me your whole entire outrage of the word nigger. You guys are probably asking, well, how in the world do I know this kind of stuff? Well, trust me, I graduated back in 2011, and I saw people using the worst kind of profanity out there. I heard people use bitch, cunt, nigger, all those words. So please don't pretend to me that you guys actually don't use these words on a daily basis. Number two, believe it or not, black people were actually called nigger during that time period. Yes, I know it's kind of hard to understand, but that's what they use against black people during that time period. There was a movie that came out back in 2011 that was called Jingle Unchained, and that movie was directed by Quentin Tarantino. And the reason why they used the word nigger throughout the entirety of the film was because in the past they used nigger against the slaves who were actually underneath the white slave owners. In other words, it depends largely on the context in which something takes place, and just because something has a bad word does not mean that the overall message must suffer because they have bad words in it. You have to listen to words and what people are saying with the words and not look at the words themselves and just judge based upon what the words sound bad to you. I'm afraid by banning To Kill a Mockingbird, it will send a domino effect to other books that are actually offensive to other people or other kind of history that's actually offensive to people. When I was in high school, I remember quite clearly they talked about the Holocaust, they talked about slavery, and a lot of genocides against people, and I wonder if by banning the book, would they actually try to ban the Holocaust lessons, or the Diary of Anne Frank, or any of the bloody history throughout America, because the thing about history is that facts don't really care about your feelings. The purpose of education is to educate people on history, on reading, on writing, on the math, etc. Education is not there to coddle your feelings, and education is not there to be a safe space just because you feel uncomfortable about certain parts of history. I find it so fascinating that you guys who ban the book, they basically they try to, you know, show the flag every single day for the state flag of Mississippi. And on the state flag of Mississippi, what they basically have is like the Confederate symbols that resembles the Confederate war. And every single day, I'm pretty sure that there are some guys who are offended by those symbols, yet they don't take those flags down just because people are offended by it. There's a very famous saying that applies to this incident. Those who do not know their history are doomed to repeat it. By not knowing much about history, you're basically going to be doomed to repeat the same kind of mistakes that your fathers and your fathers before you have made if you don't know what to do and what not to do and to learn from their own personal mistakes. When you go to the real world, nothing be fucking filtered for you guys. So quit acting like little bitches here. How are you guys supposed to make it in the real world if you guys cannot handle fucking words? Only words will have power unless you give power to it.